So portfolio management is what? It's a way of grouping and centralizing both uh, operational work and project work. Whether this project work is under programs or under projects or sub-projects and operational work. Whereas the program, it's only the grouping of uh, projects and sub-projects together to serve a specific logistical purpose uh, 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 dispersed as a Bitcoin operational projects and management projects to share the resources among the other projects and the collection the program management of all these projects serve a specific direction uh, that could be better handled while grouping these projects. In portfolio uh, programs and projects have, don't need to be interrelated whereas the program they have to be interrelated. Like in the program, we opened a program in the bank called Alternative Delivery Channels or uh, Electronic Delivery Channels. They were interrelated because the, it, they was all talking about uh, the concept of having to service customers outside the physical walk-in context, serving them virtually and online. And we want to a middle layer, the mobile app, Hal internet banking, hal deposit ATMs, kulum bidun yahkuma a middle layer abil ma yahkuma al core banking system. So they they are interrelated, which in heke can program. Whereas portfolio, like for example, uh, portfolio could be uh, uh, like expanding and uh, or, or increasing our footprint geographically into the North Africa region. This is a portfolio. Theo, but then assist Sharike, but then We need to recruit people, but then hot office office operational unique, but then hot HR systems, but then is about the value chain and the supply chain. So fee a mix of mish darure interrelated projects, or they are dependent of each others. Like in portfolio, few operations zedi on the programs. Portfolio management uh, projects don't have to be interrelated, but the program they have to be inter interrelated. And the sub portfolios, projects, and programs, we we review them to you know uh, to align with what we call a business strategy or a specific specific strategic direction. Yani we put them together. to strategic direction expanding in the North Africa region. Whereas the program doesn't a specific strategic direction, rather it a specific organizational direction. So the program, it's a centralized uh, management of these uh, programs, sub-programs, uh, projects, activities, but not operations. Projects have to be related, and the program manager focus on these interdependencies between projects to leverage and to gain this uh, probably uh, same team, uh, same goals, and to resolve these project conflicts and to align it all with the organizational direction. Let me correct this. Now, projects and strategic planning, they go hand in hand. Projects are the tools that will make sure this uh, strategic plan is being implemented. Organizations manage these portfolios based on a strategic plan. Projects are the tools to meet these strategic goals. Like when I was hired for this bank to be the head of the project management office, the chairman actually told me, you will be our arm to implement our growth strategy. And it makes sense. Uh, projects will deliver the strategic growth or will deliver the strategic direction. Projects are typically authorized to answer this strategic consideration, like coming from a market demand to expand in the North Africa region or having strategic opportunity to expand uh, outside of USA and start doing uh, work in, the, in Dubai or in the Gulf region a social need like the projects that are being initiated now with the NGOs and the 
uh, Beirut bombing, uh, environmental considerations, projects like uh, uh, sorting at source, waste or waste management, customer requests, following specific customer requests, new projects could be launched, technological advancement like uh, the use of the internet or uh, uh, what was it? what is this called the uh, internet of things ما في هلا ما مفروض هلا يكون في بعد بنك بلبنان ما عنده موبايل موبايل ابلكيشن سو ذس از تكنولوجيكال انفستمنت ما بقى في هلا بنك بروبابلي بلبنان ما عنده ديبوزيت اي تي ام تكنولوجيكال ادفانس بامريكا يو دونت هاف تو يو دونت هاف تو سبمت ذا فيزيكال تشيك اون يور اونلاين بانكينج سيستم You just take a screen a shot of your check, and and you send it across the online banking, and it is there and then deposited for collection in your bank. So you don't need the physical check to you don't need maasa, you don't need the, all this happening around centralizing the uh, maasa of of banks. Legal requirements come in, like uh, FATCA requirements or know your customers or. Uh, Uh, sometimes uh, anti-terrorism uh, uh, acts or something like this, or any legal requirements that necessitate us opening a project. So projects don't come from void. They come to answer a specific strategic direction. To put it all together, we have a company or an organizational strategy. So we, let's start grouping these uh, programs and projects under portfolio one, portfolio two, portfolio three, And under programs, you have project two, program A, you have project two, project three, program, uh, sub-program B1 is under program B. It has two projects, project four and five, etc. And you have shared resources and shared stakeholders. We went into the definition of a stakeholder last time. Do you still remember it? Yes. So here. Yeah. Uh, uh, you said that uh, people that are affected, يعني مش مش بس negatively or positively both ways, uh, uh, directly or indirectly. You gave a specific definition, يعني, but what I understood from it, and yeah. uh, anyone who is affected by the by the program, يعني أي نوع من التأثير اللي عليهم. So إجابة أصلا. مش بس affected by the program. Or who think. Or who think he is affected, or they might be re actually affected by the program, or they think they will be affected or by the think, program. Yeah. But the most important for you as a project manager is them affecting your project. Yes. So come in. If stakeholders, they will affect your project. If stakeholders, the project will affect them. So we will talk a lot about these components uh, in uh, going forward in the PM book. Uh, we're going to hear a lot about project life cycle, project phase, project gate, or phase gate, uh, processes, process groups, and knowledge areas. What are those? Project life cycle, who way your approach, who way your uh, logical, uh, uh, if you want, decomposition of phases that go along sequentially or um, in parallel from start to end so that you will finish the project. So start, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five, end. So it's how you decompose your project. It's the how and not the what. It's the approach. How are you going to approach it, your project? Uh, project phase, هي شقفة من life cycle. Uh, those uh, logically uh, grouped phases will constitute a project life cycle. And every phase had, has at least one deliverable or one outcome. لح نشوف هاد deliverables we're gonna call them the scope uh, اسمه work packages so deliverables equals work packages same same thing phase gate هي a, a review at the end of every phase in which a decision will be made whether to move to the next phase or continue or modify uh, the existing phase in the project life cycle some people call it milestone Uh, we, are going to, we are going to call it milestone and phase and phase gate. Project management processes. 
these are the series of activities that are directly causing an end result. Fee on input, fee on chosen techniques that are being taken and uh, processing these inputs to come up with outputs. And the PM book is split by uh, the book by uh, ch from chapter four onwards, integration management. Uh, we have a kill process in the 49 processes, Shufion inputs, Shufion tools and techniques, Shufbit Laminun output, and how they are interrelated together. A, a project management process could be perform integrated change control. This is, the, uh, this is one process out of the 49. Another process could be close project or phase. Another project is estimate cost. Their process is more estimate durations. Identify stakeholders. Perform quantitative risk analysis. All of these are processes uh, that represents the 49 processes grouped un under five process groups across 10 knowledge areas. Okay? So process groups, how the PM book is grouping these processes under five areas, initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. Every process, I 49 processes, okay, with their tools and techniques and outputs and inputs, is grouped under five columns that represents the process groups, if you want to visualize it. The rows, the matrix, so, you have a matrix. On the top, you have columns, you have process groups. Over rows, you have knowledge areas. You uh, have the specific areas of knowledge in project management. You uh, schedule, scope, risk, resources, uh, procurement, uh, etc. Stakeholders. These are uh, what is a bad one, uh, defined under uh, PM book as the different areas where you can bring a subject matter expert to execute, not necessarily you as a project manager should be doing those. The only knowledge area that is directly related to a project management practice is the integration management. Integration management, remember this, is the glue that fit, that stick all other knowledge areas together into one cohesive whole representing a good project management practice. Uh, there's a homework that you have to do. Uh, it's a puzzle where we have to uh, put the 49 processes across the five process groups and see uh, the information flow and how they fit together and how they are interrelated. Again, you have a project life cycle. You have start and end of a project, passing by five phases, for example, in this project. Uh, a phase, phase one could be called starting the project. Phase two could be called organizing and preparing. Don't mix, and this, is, this happens to everyone who takes PMP. We tend to mix between project phases and process groups, or because they are similar in even the terminology. Process groups is how we logically group the PM book processes. Project phases is how you and your organization approach the project. And phase one, starting the project, you have to repeat the five process groups. So you have to initiate starting the project. You have to plan starting the project. You have to execute starting the project, monitor and control it, and eventually closing it. Again, we have a phase gate. Can we move to phase two, which is organizing and preparing? If yes, then we start executing the five process groups. We initiate organizing and preparing, we plan, we execute, we monitor and control, and we close. Not sequentially, iteratively. All the processes that are embedded within the 10 knowledge areas, the 49 processes, are highly iterative. Write it down. Satra uh, alaya, highlighted in, in yellow and red. It's all iterative. Yani, planning or estimating costs, not, and I'm multitasking and I estimate resources. Birja, I identify risks. Birja, I, I uh, estimate costs. Birja, I estimate resources again. 
برجع بروح برجع بنزل you gonna see it in the puzzle that nothing is sequential except few resources a few processes all other resources are highly iterative okay now project and development life cycles for projects you have the project life cycle and for products you have the product life cycle the product is the result of the project okay the product uh, manufacturing and maintaining and its life cycle it's not part of project one but the product life cycle let me ask you the question which one is bigger the product life cycle or the project life cycle I guess the product. product itself, because the product is an element in the project, no? No, it's actually. We are selling a product, we're not a project. Can you see my whiteboard? Yes. Okay. So, but the next, the next BMW motorcycle GS 1200. This is the product code, okay? And the code, E, we're gonna call it E72. And E72 uh, is the life cycle of this motorcycle la arba sneen, nil alfen wahda wa shreen, nil alfen, excuse my writing, ukham sawa shreen. So this model, the one we call the E72, we're gonna we're gonna manufacture it four years. We're gonna go back and change the model, and change it, and we see the number E73. This BMW is working. So you have a product life cycle. This is the product life cycle. We're gonna open Project One. Project One will be focused on the engine because we want نخفف الويت تبع الانجن بروجكت 2 خاصه بال شو شسي اسير بوكس اكزاكتلي بروجكت 3 اكس بروجكت 4 واي رايت سو ذيز ار بروجكت لايف سايكل في اون ستارت Ufion end. Whereas the project product life cycle, the start tabahon will end what they call so kill the projects in the jua fio tambellish namelo production. Uh you can call it project, yes, or you can call it program. Uh, it's up to you. So at the whole, it's some sub projects or uh, components of a project. It's it's your logical representation. But sometimes you have bigger project than the BMW creating the next BMW motorcycle. You have uh, the next. Ma uh, barif Tesla. Tesla, but don't yichter on shuttle it now. Fiya space. Big program. Okay. على عشر سنين على خمسة عشر سنة. هلا دبي طلع طلعوا يمكن ولا طالعين على مارس. Imagine these projects, big projects. Okay. المهم تعرفوا إنه the product life cycle هو ال entity الكبيرة وجوتها فيها projects وكل ما يخلص project it is contributing near the end of the product life cycle where we have to produce it. Actually, the product life cycle ما بيخلص هون. بيضل مكفى على ال production. Until, من بعد the production على أربع خمس سنين, until we say, خلاص, this is will not be produced. This is will not be even. We will not even create any parts for it. Like Microsoft, for example, Windows versions. بيبعتوك من أوقات إنه Windows 8 will not be supported anymore because خلاص, it has been decommissioned. وخلص the product life cycle. Same thing, okay? So for projects, 
uh, the project life cycle is the series of phases that will constitute how you will approach your project or the framework. And phases in, in the project life cycle may be sequential, iterative, overlapping, etc. And project life cycles could be predictive or adaptive. شو يعني بريدكتيف وشو يعني ادابتيف؟ مين في يشرح لي؟ مين سامع باجايل ميثودولوجي؟ ما حدا سامع باجايل؟ بلا انا سامع ما لي عين كثير اقول لانه مرق معي بالدرس مش من زمان كثير اوكي السبلاي تشين اوكي خليني اشرحها وقت بكونوا عم بتعمروا تاور اوكي بتبلشوا تعملوا الاستيميشن والبلو برينتس والديزاين استيميشن للحديد وكل برغه معروف وين بده يركب باي باب This is predictive life cycle فيو excavation phase 1 فيو نحط الاساسات phase 2 phase 3 نطلع بالعظم Phase four, and sakir from barra. Phase five, internal. Phase six, fittings. Phase phase uh, seven, retouch and salim. Arfin be kill phase. Shul ahnamul in details. Predictively, we know it from now. Adaptive life cycles. Imagine you are creating a, the next Google car. Ubatkun yeha timshi ala. Uh, عصير الليمون بدل ال بدل البنزين. Can you predict this project life cycle? You cannot. You have to be adaptive. So لأنه فيها كثير changes. لأنه it's R and D. It's something new. It's innovative. And the whole approach to the project phases. ما بقى في شيء اسمه phases. ما بقى في شيء اسمه deliverables. في غير شيء رح نشوفهم later on اسمهم stories واسمهم stakeholder logs و iterations بدل phases. So هون it's highly adaptive في agile وبيقول and they are implementing agile even بال software development and stuff like this وبيقولوا انه you only know this iteration today you come what do you have in the log you are working on this function you finish it tomorrow uh, uh, you take this uh, log uh, and you decide what to work on and then you plan it for uh, this iteration so the project life cycle keep in mind in details you have the predictive life cycle and the adaptive life cycle for product Product development can be predictive. It can be iterative. It can be incremental. I'm zidale osas lal product. Masalan iPhone 11 X zidale camera raba. Okay. Adaptive and or hybrid, a mix of all is a batkun approaches. What's the definition of a successful project? دائما بنسمع انه projects that finish on time uh, to specification and within budget are successful projects. مظبوط؟ These are the triple constraints we call them. ليش they are represented in a triangle? Because uh, they impact each other. Imagine أنتوا عم تبنوا أوتيل للوليد بن طلال تنقول ببيروت. اوكي شو اسمه الاوتيل تبع الوليد بن طلال؟ فور سيزونز ما بعرف شو اسمه. اند اتفقتوا تبنوا 10 طوابق للاوتيل 300 uh, اوضه بالاوتيل وسبيسيفيكيشنز انحطت من الخشب ومن الالومنيوم ومن ايفري ثينج وانحط البادجت تنقول uh, 100 مليون دولار اوكي okay? بنص البروجكت اجى الوليد بن طلال قال لكم أه بدي بدي اعمله للاوتيل بدل 10 طوابق 20 طابق. سو so السكوب تغير كبر. وقت السكوب كبر شو صار؟ الوقت كبير. السكوب سكوب كبر. بروبابلي بروبابلي الكوست رح يجي 
اكيد الكوست راح يزيد وات اباوت تايم بروبابلي كمان راح يزيد اوكي سو وات اباوت اذا قالكم بدنا نخلصوا قبل بثلاث اشهر لانه بدنا نعمل افتتاح سو so بدنا نقصر التايم بركي لازم يطلع آه، الكوست بركي لازم يطلع الكوست لانه بدنا نجيب عمال زياده بدنا نجيب مكانات زياده بدنا نعمل شيفتس بالليل سو كوست ماي بي امباكتد سو اني ابديت اور تشينج اون ون اوف ذا تريبل كونسترينتس ويل امباكت ون اور مور اوف ذا اذر كونسترينتس سبيسيفيكيشن فيها تنزل تو ميت يعني تخلص بالوقت يمكن يا بس ذس از ذا لاست ريزورت In, pro- in good project management, removing uh, scope requirements and specifications is the last resort. Okay? Now, Hada Baatli Shia chat. Move and pick, thank you. Move and pick, Oteleto, Mavad. No, Rotana. Anyway. Hala, Ejo PMP, Alo, Laya Khayefi, Fi six constraints, Mish Tlete. What do you think are The additional three constraints that if they change, will affect the cost, the time, the scope, and other constraints. Outside effect, which one from the other? 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 Which one is the fourth constraint what else as i just wanted to tell you alkun hal khashab bwab al qawad kullun 300 bab mish ajbini badi yahun khashab arz quality quality thank you very much so quality will impact also the six constraints so sar fi anna ziyad al risk wal quality what else بعد في وحده قصص هي انفورسين ريسكس رح نحطها اندر ريسكس سادس وحده هي ريسورسز اذا عندك عدد ريسورسز من اكويبمنت ماتيريال اند بيبل اند وركرز شيء واذا عندك اذا عم تعمل عم بتصب باتون بالبامب شيء واذا عم بتصب باتون بالسالات بالبولي بالسل شيء رايت right? عندها اثر على التايم وعلى الكواليتي وعلى كل شيء سو so, كمان الريسورسز ويل امباكت سو ذي اكستندد بي ام بي اكستندد ذا تريبل كونسترينتس ذا ليجاسي تريبل كونسترينتس بالستينات والسبعينات والثمانينات للسكس كونسترينتس ذات ويل جارنتي جود بروجكت مانجمنت اند جوفرننس اف يو لوك ات ذيم اند ايفينشولي ويل ليد تو Uh, customer satisfaction. So now the definition of project management. Project management typically includes the identification of the requirements and the specifications and the expectations of the scope while managing the stakeholders during the project life cycle, addressing the stakeholder needs and expectations and ensuring adequate communication and management while balancing the six constraints risk resources quality scope time what we budget okay so now this is the pm book definition of project management identification of requirements managing stakeholder expectations communicating properly with stakeholders and balancing balancing the six constraints So project management, according to the PM book, is accomplished through applying those 49 processes that are grouped under five process groups and 10 knowledge areas. Hal process uh, groups, initiating, planning, monitoring, and controlling, and closing. As a plazo, monitoring and controlling is represented like an umbrella process group or a cycle of process groups. Why? Because we don't, the yeah, monitoring and controlling stop starts from initiating and never stops until we finish the project. Okay, with an, an iterative model, highly iterative. Every now and then we go and we trigger a monitoring and controlling process, like 
في بروسيس اسمه كنترول كوست في بروسيس اسمه كنترول سكجول في بروسيس اسمه مونيتور ريسورسز في بروسيس اسمه فاليديت سكوب اول اوف ذيس مونيتورينج اند كنترولينج بروسيسز دايما عم نروح نعيط لهم وير اند وين وي نيد ذم اوكي مش ضروري بالاكزيكيوتينج او بالبلاننج او بالكلوزينج سو بالانيشيتينج بالانيشيتينج في بس تو بروسيسز شو رايكم هن؟ شو بنعمل وايل انيشيتينج ا بروجكت؟ Sixteen participants, Jamia. Into sixteen, but they are interactive. I think you know uh, we define the uh, concept. يعني شو بدنا شو البروجي شو إنه إن 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 مالك ما عارف في حالنا وين بدنا نوصل آخر شيء. In details, well, high no. level. No. High level, yeah, yeah. What I else? I think it's the ideation at you know having an idea, يعني about what are we. Going to implement uh, on the initiation. In details or the high level? No, not in details. Akid, yani we can dig into it by then. But having the idea is is in the initiation of the. Look, two processes. The beginning of the initiation. Hene, initiate project or phase. And identify stakeholders. That sorry, develop project charter and identify stakeholders. That's only two processes. The project charter. Show me a project charter. Project charter is a small document. It's not a project plan. It's not a project schedule. It's not a project management approach. It's a small document. That authorizes a project manager to start planning and executing the project. Charter, جاي من كلمة إذا سمين chartered accountant. شو يعني chartered أو chartered land؟ يعني حدا أخذ مخول يأخد هالطريق. مخول. يعني خولنا. We authorized this project manager. يلي اسمه جاب عواد. In this project charter, أنا sponsor اسمه سمير. مضيت على piece of document. I'm going to ask Gabi Awad to assume the role of project manager and start planning and executing and monitoring and controlling and closing the project. This is the, the, this is the role of the project charter. How many times I have a project charter, 120 or 300 pages, I think the vendors, the implementers, the suppliers, I think the project management plan. It's not the project management plan. Project management plan, the process group number two, the planning. On, we are only authorizing the project and the project phase, if you are authorizing the phase to start with a named project manager. While at it, our man bellish the project, our my yibat warana the client, our manager, we ilna am fakir hatak project manager, we bellish the fakro me the stakeholders. So it's a good practice by initiating to start identifying the stakeholders, listing them. By the planning, a little bit the process is a bit easier. By the planning, especially if you have a predictive life cycle, not adaptive. By the planning, it's like it's like fifty percent of your work done in planning by the PM book. We will see that a little bit the processes, the forty-nine processes, are present in the planning. So this is where we define in details and we refine the objectives of the program and we plan in details the course of action for the project. We take the risk and we make a detailed risk management plan. We take the scope and we make a detailed scope management plan. We take the stakeholder and we say how we are going to engage them, where do we want to take them from the current state to the desired state, how we are going to communicate with them, show the communication management plan, كلهم هول عم بيكونوا بالبلاننج. بالاكزيكيوتينج وي ار انتجريتنج ذا هول بلانز اند سبسيدري بلانز اند انتجريتنج ريسورسز وذ ذا ورك تو بي ديليفرد يعني وي ار فولوينج ذا بلان تو ديليفر ذا ورك. 
monitoring and controlling, we are taking measurements and we are monitoring the progress. Are we late? Are we on budget? Uh, are we to specs? Feel uh, new risk? Uh, and you are identifying those variances and you are taking corrective actions. In closing, we are formalizing the acceptance of the deliverables, uh, whether a phase, so closing, via process is a closed project or phase. If you are closing a phase, definitely, let's say, validate scope, Abel. Validate scope is the process where the client accepts the deliverables. Once, as I'll face, we have three deliverables. Come on, Rabbi, the Amul Validate Scope. Let me run. Let me run. Abel ma foot ala process is more closed project or phase. The second phase. And if the if one of the deliverables was were not accepted, I have to, I I will not close the phase and I have to do the corrective actions. And I bring the project or phase to an orderly end if the project were stopped or terminated. So these are the process groups. Knowledge areas, 10. Integration management, he is very specific to the project management practice. Here, processes done by the project management team, whereas scope, schedule, cost, quality, resource, risk, communication could be done by other parties in the organization. Who does what? It depends on your project. You might be doing the risk management processes or you might be hiring a subject matter expert in this area of risk. You might be doing quality or hiring your quality department or outsourcing the quality processes. But the integration management, it's, it's the core of the project management uh, practice. Mission Hek Samoa integration. And this is where we integrate everything together from scope to schedule, from schedule to cost, the quality will cost, the communication mass stakeholders. We are integrating the whole thing. Like in Musa ala matrix, Mawjudi be page 25 of the PM book, but Farje and no, the five process groups, 10 knowledge areas, and the 49 processes are allocated across these rows and columns. Yani, control schedule. Control schedule is related to schedule management, of course. And since it's more control, then it's a monitoring and controlling process under the monitoring and controlling process groups. So there you go. Already, Shumbayan Hone Antkon. Agalabitel processes when Mojudin. The biggest problem is planning. The planning. The planning. The planning. The process is Mojudin, the closing, the initiating. Ta. Again, fee project information on the law. We pay and book the assembly three types of information. We all fee work performance data, work performance information, work performance reports. I keep the fair about the data information is information is the making sense of the data that we have collected into meaningful information, right? So data alone does not tell us much. We have to analyze it. We have to sort it, we have to make sense out of it to come up with information. We all, throughout the project life cycle, significant amount of data and information will be collected, analyzed, transformed, uh, grouped, and distributed in various formats to various stakeholders, depending on your stakeholder management plan. How does stakeholder with the shoof summary? How does stakeholder with the shoof details, etc. Nerjala iteratively, my stakeholder and communication management plan. But at this stage, we have to know in all data is collected by executing process groups. It is transformed into information by monitoring and controlling process group. Okay? So as a matter of fact, the exam, she has to data, you know that you are in executing. As a matter of fact, you know, Talana, this report, uh, we made sense of this information. You need to know that you are in 
monitoring and controlling process group. So the work performance data is the raw data collected during our work. Example, percentage of work completed. Percentage of work completed لو واحدة ما بتعني شيء. Whereas uh, the variance at completion, 111 as dollar, is a piece of information. جمعناها واشتغلناها based from the earned value analysis data. Uh, number of defects لو واحدة كمان ما بتعني شيء. Whereas إذا بنحولها ل information وبنقول 30% uh, of the defects on the project salon more than 60 days not corrected. This is a piece of information. Number of change requests is data. Actual invoices and cost incurred is data. Whereas information could be, for example, the status of change requests. Are you pending? Are you completed? Are you not started? The status of deliverables. Performance measurements like cost performance index, scheduled performance index, variance at, uh, at completion, budget at completion. Those are measurements. Akid, yeah, how, who, yes. Sorry, who will collect the data? Who will collect the data? The project team, uh, probably from outside. It depends how you are going to sort the project. Is a kulu fully sourced internally, then the project team, or the stakeholders sometimes. يعني انت عم تشتغل مع ديبارتمنت البيلينج وطالب منها تعطيك داتا سو هي عم تعمل لك الداتا بروبلي انت عم تبعث هالداتا ل ا سبجكت ماتر اكسبيرت وعم يعمل لك اناليسيس لها سو هي ويل بيكم اولسو ذا انفورميشن بروفايدر انت عم تحطها بريبورت وعم بتقدمها لل للكوميتي ساعتها البروجكت مانجمنت تيم عم بحط الانفورميشن انتو ريبورت يعني we need to monitor it كمان يعني تفوت بالبروسيس تبع المونيتورينج اند كنترولينج بالانفورميشن والريبورتينج يس اوكي بس الداتا از كولكتد بالاكزيكيوتينج سو ذا كونسوليديشن اوف ذا انفورميشن اور ورك برفورمانس انفورميشن ان ناو ريبورتس اند جرافس اند ستاتس ريبورتس اند برزنتيشنز رح رح نسميها ورك برفورمانس ريبورتس اوكي بس نحن اوريدي بكل البروجي راح يكون في عندي انا كولكتنج داتا وعم بعمل انفورميشن وريبورتس يعني ما راح وقف يعني انا اذا بروجيتي لنقول على مدة سنه او سنتين سو so مش انه بعمل هلا باخذ الداتا بعمل كولكشن وبرجع بعد فتره بعمل اتسل uh, يعني ماشيين مع بعضهم على طول اكزاكتلي شاني شاني ماشيين مع بعضهم يلي ذكرته ايتيراتيفلي على طول هايلي ايتيراتيف بروسيسز يعني ماشيين مع بعضهم ومنن سيكونشن يعني ما بخلص داتا جاذرينج برجع على الاكزيكيوتينج برجع بروح على المونترينج اند كنترولينج اتس اتس ا ميكس عايشين كلهم ببعضهم ورح تفهموها اكثر وين وي سي ذا بازل اوكي لهلا صرنا بنعرف انه الانفورميشن ذس از هاو ذا انفورميشن فلوز في عندنا اكزيكيوتينج بروسيسز عم يطلع منهم ورك برفورمانس داتا مثلا اكزيكيوتينج بروسيس اسمه بالانتجريشن مانجمنت اسمه بيرفورم بيرفورم انتجريتد سيتشو اسمه بس اتس ذا اكشوال ديليفري اوف اوف ذا ورك بيطلع ورك برفورمانس داتا لايك خلصنا 500 uh, شباك الازاز تبعهم بالكنترولينج بروسيسز اه كان المفروض نسلم 1000 شباك هنطلع work performance information انه في variance of 450 uh, minus شباك ما تركب. Overall project control راح يطلع work performance reports and then these reports in the form of reports or presentations or meetings will be sent to the project change control to take action whether uh, to cut on time, to remove from the scope, to add uh, or change something. بيروح عند the change control board it will get approved a change request بيرجعوا هال approved change request بيرجعوا بيصبوا ب various project processes وبيرجعوا على the executing to be executed or مثلا هون طلع عنا بال executing the 300 باب تبع الأوتيل طلعوا يساتون غلط بدنا نطلع change request approved نرجع the approved change request إنه 
حرقوهم كلهم كسروهم ورجع عملوا 300 باب جداد ترجع بفوت على الاكزيكيوتنج بروسيسز اجين اند وي كومينيكيت ذا تشينج ذا ابروفد تشينج ويز ذا تيم ممبرز اند ذا ستيك هولدرز بزنس دوكيومنتس ما في بروجكت الا بيخلق من uh, من فويد بيسبقوا عاده بزنس كيس ان بيج companies or organizations. Yani, but the, I want to expand out of the USA and to be present in the Gulf region. What's the business case? Had I made business case. And no, why should we do expansion? What's uh, the opportunity? What's uh, the expected revenue? What are the benefits of this expansion? What do we initial budget to do it? What's uh, the cash flow? Et cetera, et cetera. It could be in the form of an economic feasibility study or a business plan or a business case. Mm -hmm. And it will be the basis for authorizing of the future project management activities. Yani once someone gets a green light on the business case in the boardroom of some organization, a business case might trigger more than one project. Metal Bihalit and no expanding outside USA. Okay. يمكن يطلع منها ثلاثة projects أول project recruitment ثاني project uh, 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 buy a land and build premises ثالث project uh, business development project uh, and marketing project so رح يطلع منا من هال business case one or more projects and usually the business case will be written and maintained by what we call a project sponsor يلي هو رح يكون عنده رول على البروجكت تبعك. البروجكت سبونسر از ذا بيرسون اور ذا فانكشن اور ذا انتيتي اور ذا جروب اوف بيبل ذات ويل اوثورايز يو هو بيمضي على البروجكت تشارتر وبيقول لك بلش بالبروجكت. هي ويل اوثورايز ذا فاندز فور يو. هي ويل اليمينيت تشالنجز اند بلوكجز فور يو. هالبروجكت سبونسر. بالاكريديتيشن بروسيس مطلوب منكم على كل بروجكت بتحطوه انه كان عندكم اكسبيرينس عليه تسموا ذا نيم اوف ذا بروجكت سبونسر اوكي كمان يس اوكي بروجكت سبونسر اخذت الخبريه نحن نعرف البروجكت سبونسر بهمه الشغلتين يعملوا اما يكون هالبروجكت بزنس كيس يكون استراتيجيك uh, بذات الوقت يكون في بادجت يعني يكون من الميل الثاني اللي هو اهم شيء لهم. سو بيسكلي بس نكون عم نفكر باللوجيك تبعنا بالبروجكت مانجمنت بس نشتغل ايكونوميك فيزابيلتي ستادي سو وي ار لانشينج ذا بي ام بي بروسيس اما هالفيز هيدي اما هالبروجكت اللي عم نحكي نحن ايكونوميك ستادي بس ما هيدي لازم تجي تيرجع يكمل يوافق سبونسر اما لا انت 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 سبقت علي اوكي هيدي سلايد امتى ببلش البروجكت لايف سايكل وامتى ببلش البروجكت؟ ببلش مع ما تاخذ جرين لايت على البزنس كيس. سو so, اذا سؤالك هل هو البروجكت مانجر لازم يكون عنده رول بالبزنس كيس؟ نوت نيسيسيرلي. يو مايت هاف ا رول ان ذا بزنس كيس بات اتس اتس نوت يعني ا بي ام بوك جود براكتس او نيسيسيري تو دو بس شوف وين ببلش البروجكت لايف سايكل. ببلش بعد البري بروجكت ورك اللي هو النيدز اسسمنت البزنس كيس سيكيورينج ذا بادجت دوينج ذا بينيفيت مانجمنت بلان ببلش البروجكت تشارتر وستارتينج ذا بروجكت جاوبتك على السؤال بس هون بروجكت كمان يعني عم نحكي بزنس بزنس البزنس بلان وهيك اتس بروجكت كمان يعني بزنس كيس وبينيفيت مانجمنت بلان لا اتس نوت ا بروجكت انليس اتس نوت ا بروجكت انليس انت بزنس كونسلتنت اند يو وير Uh, solicited to do a business plan and a strategy uh, work for a company, then yes, it's a project. But in Taboo's Allen, in Taboo's and Co, you were hired to do this okay. this this uh, strategy work. Okay. هلا مثل قصة بلبنان شو اسمه الشركة اللي عملت ال ماكينزي عملت strategy. Okay. The strategy document that we did to McKinsey for the country is the business case. So, how many projects do we get from the business case that we gave to McKinsey? There are a lot of money for the electricity, there are a lot of money for the sale, there are a lot of money for the sale, there are a lot of changes. 
هتشينجز هن هيصبوا على بروجكت بايب لاين سو اكزاكتلي وات از هابينينج هير اوكي 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 فروم ذير اند ماكنزي ذي هاد ا بروجكت كولد استراتيجي فورميوليشن ويز ذا لبنيز جوفرمنت فروم اور اند ذا بروجكتس بعد ما بعد ما بلشوا تبع ماكنزي اوكي Sarah, you have to drop at seven. Okay, no problem. So, نرجع على business documents. أهم business documents هن business case will benefit management plan. It's a document explaining and defining the processes that we have to do on the project for ensuring and maximizing that the benefits of the business case will be realized. يعني is one of the benefits of expanding in the North Africa region. is to increase our profit by 50%. Our project has to be aligned with this benefit. So we're going to look at benefit management plan because our implementation of the project should be aligned to this goal, this benefit realization goal. Okay? End of chapter one. Before we go to break, do you have any question? على شابتر 1 نو سو ليتس بلاي ا جيم على مانتيمتر يو هاف 10 كويشنز تو انسر على مانتيمتر اند يو هاف Timed questions. يعني بيكون تكونوا سريعين. Okay. واللي بيربح هو مش بس جواب على الأسئلة الصح هو جواب على الأسئلة الصح بأسرع وقت. So go to menti.com. آه سريعين. برافو عليكم. This is the I'm going to stop, uh, pause the recording to make it work, to make it size. Okay. Chapter 2, let, let us do some recap. Ale. Chapter 2 is about the environments in which projects operate. Okay. In the fishy is more enterprise environmental factors, and uh, fishy is more OPAs. We uh, know these two categories of influences are either uh, EEFs or OPAs. OPAs are either uh, policy and procedures and or uh, historical information from lessons learned and your corporate knowledge base. We are enterprise or environmental factors and EEFs are internal and external, whereas OPAs are always internal and they are good things, they are assets for you to benefit Uh, on your project, whereas EEFs could be sometimes constraints. Shafna, the uh, organization environment, uh, the culture, the style, and we gave examples on uh, the Central Bank of Syria and the communication and what have you, the structure of the organization and how it influences the project. Shafna is a few type and the number of project stakeholders might also influence your project. The project governance by your PMO and your project team. The organizational culture and style, our part, is uh, how the, uh, the, uh, the organization is set up from its vision to its purpose to its mission statement, cultural statements, uh, the policies and procedures available, how mature it is. Uh, is a asami in a flat or a functional organization type or matrix organization types? Shuanna code of conduct fia, shumanna should work ethics, should working hours, flexibility, non-flexibility, etc. All of these will have impact on your project. Whether you are doing projects only internally or at client sites, it depends. So you as a project manager should understand the different organizational styles and cultures and structures that may affect your project 
and you need to know which individuals in the organizations are decision makers or influencers and to work with them to increase the probability of success. So here you have to play the game of power and politics to know the uh, alliances between decision makers, who can influence who, not only do your work in, uh, um, in stealth mode, okay, and rely only on the technical part of your project delivery. And, uh, guys, uh, the, the exam has changed recently. Uh, Tycoon, 50% of the questions based on emotional intelligence and leadership skills and uh, soft skills with 50% on the technical project management skills. Abel, can it, uh, the weighting of the exam is more like 80% on the technical skills of project management. So politics, uh, communication skills, leadership skills, conflict management skills, emotional intelligence in general and interpersonal skills are very important now as an emerging trend in project management and the exam uh, also is catering for this. So keep this in mind. Communication. Project management success is highly dependent on effective uh, communication. And think about it, is more, if, if, if more than 86% of your time is managing your stakeholders through communicating with them, then 86 of your time is either planning for communication, executing the communication, and ma managing stuff through communication, whether verbal, non-verbal, written, uh, doing presentations, etc. So organizational communication capabilities will have a great impact on how your project is, is conducted and how you are managing the expectations of the stakeholders and how you are keeping them engaged in the project. As a, a stakeholders are unreachable, it will impact your project. As a communication style is uh, all the time virtual, there is physical presence with the new uh, normal of Corona, it will impact probably your project. So as a consequence, project managers uh, in distant locations should be able to communicate effectively with all stakeholders to facilitate decision making. More and more projects are being executed remotely and it's also an opportunity. And I'm the client uh, uh, in, uh, in software development, they do solutions. They have more opportunity to meet with people in Europe, to meet with people in USA and to sell them because the new normal now is meeting through virtual means. So whether these are emails, instant messaging, uh, texting, video calls, web conferencing, all of these communication uh, means and tools you need to be able to uh, use and it, they will impact your project. So the lack of an email the Central Bank of Syria and the lack of the internet access definitely impacted our project. The organizational structure itself, organizations could be structured in different uh, ways to deliver the specific business objectives. So how uh, modes in which organization operates and performs affect your project, okay? Uh, and the power and influence between stakeholders and functional managers, I mean, it is reflected in these uh, organizational structures. If you are in a functional organizational structure, the most commonly used, probably you have less of power as a project manager. But if you are working in a project-oriented structure, uh, like if you are working on with, uh, I don't know, with uh, Google, where Google, every project is an entity by itself. So you have the search project, you have the car project, you have the Android project, you have the, uh, I don't know. So Google is project structured uh, company. Well, head of the project is king on, uh, in, in the company. They report to probably the CEO or the board directly. So the power is enormous. Uh, as a project manager when it comes to project-oriented organizations. Functional organization structure. Am I recording? Yes. So the functional 
يلي هي we see mostly in uh, uh, banks, uh, financial institutions, FMCG companies, wholesalers, retailers, what have you. It's the traditional organization chart. If you are many layers down the line from the CEO down to the workers and uh, in this organizational structure the project manager is not called project manager even they are project coordinators <coughs> staff report to one manager their functional manager their head of IT head of marketing head of finance and it is structured by specialty marketing finance IT uh, laboratory what have you uh, projects are limited to their own specific areas. You see projects opened and closed within IT, within marketing, within finance. There's no uh, synergy between different projects across different uh, project departments. Feel hierarchical behavior of the boss reporting to his boss, reporting to his boss. Feel, however, as a positive thing, feel at least clear line of authority and you know who is the decision maker. If we part-time project manager and team, they are not full-time working on projects. So as an example of a functional organizational structure, you have the chief executive and you have head of finance, head of marketing, head of IT, and you as a project coordinator, you are recruited from outside the organization, probably, and you recruit you, they lend you, the IT will lend you one staff, marketing will lend you two staff, and finance will lend you one staff. They are working with you, but not full time, uh, where and when they can work with you intermittently, but they have other things to do in their departments. This is the functional organizational structure. The projectized is the other side of the spectrum. Employees report to the project manager. They don't report to head of marketing, head of finance. You have project manager Nakhil, project manager Nakhil 2, project manager uh, biggest uh, hotel underwater, project manager UAE, the, the best country ever in, in the Gulf region. Uh, so the project manager is king. They even have dedicated full-time HR employees to support the project, finance employees to support the project, etc. Those are called sometimes dedicated or shared services, we call them. The project manager has high authority and is independent from the organization. The project team has no home to get back to when the project finishes, okay? They could be allocated to another project or sent home or sent to annual leave. Can you see Irmana Higby, PwC? PwC, as a consulting firm and audit firm, was project oriented. Yani, fi country partner, and fi tahto directors, who had directors and the mount projects. And uh, staff were allocated on projects. Now, in between projects, the hustle staff die. Uh, they are either sent to training or self-paced training or sent on annual leaves or uh, they start searching for new jobs. A high turnover can you see in between projects. So most of the staff are engaged in project work and the, these companies focus on projects for revenue. It's a mafi project, mafi revenue, and they close. وهلا بالإيكونوميك كرايسز أول ناس سكروا أغلبية الناس سكروا إن ال project oriented companies يلي ما عندهم project مرة صار معنا ب PwC the same thing يعني كان حرب تموز 2006 مع إسرائيل وتعرفوا كيف صار البلد على فترة شهرين ثلاثة and the country senior partner came to me كنا نحنا مبلشين ال project ب جزائر في وطنية تليكوم ورجعنا على بيروت وعلقنا ببيروت قال لي جابي شوف شو بدك تعمل بدك تطلع على الجزائر انت والتيم I was the project manager and to بدك تطلع بدك تطلع تندفع معاشات هيك قال لي so طلع وجيب ال payment ال progressive payment لأنه بدنا ندفع معاشات so ظهرنا وطلعنا بالسيارات قبل بنهار من ما يتسكر معبر المصنع 
وشفنا البيك ابات اللي عم تحترق بعد قبل بليله قاصفين الام كايات والشوفير التاكسي طاير كان رح يودينا يعني قد ما خايف انه يقصفوا الام كيس ونحن كنا خايفين اكيد ديبارتمنتس اف اني سيرف ذا بروجيكتس في لوجيستيك ديبارتمنتس في كانت تأملنا تيكتس وهوتيلز و وات وي نيد كان في الاتش ار ديبارتمنت تقدم تأمن لنا البير ديم واذر لوجيستكس كان في الفاينانس ديبارتمنت كان في الاي تي ديبارتمنت ذيس وير كولد شيرد سيرفيسز تو سيرف بروجيكتس مينلي سو ان ا بروجيكتايزد اور بروجيكت اورينتد اورجانيزيشنال ستراكشر يو هاف ا تشيف اكزيكيوتيف اند يو هاف بروجيكت 1 بروجيكت 2 بروجيكت 3 اند يو هاف ا بروجيكت مانجر دايركتلي ريبورتينج تو uh the cxo and you have dedicated staff uh in every uh for every project in between the functional organization and the projectized you have what we call a matrix organization it's halfway between the functional and the uh, projectized we have three subcategories the weak matrix the balanced matrix and the strong matrix organizational structure Project managers and project teams could be allocated either part-time if weak or balanced or full-time if it's a strong matrix organization. The project team reports usually to two bosses in matrix uh, types, the project manager and the, their department manager. So the weak matrix, man uh, bad a dedicated project management department and a HR, IT, finance, and we have a project coordinator that we recruited from finance, and we uh, are lending him staff from different departments. The balanced matrix, now you have a dedicated project manager full-time working on projects, let's say under IT, because they have a lot of projects in IT. So bil balanced, now you have a dedicated project manager. Bil strong, you have a dedicated department of project management department. See this one here? So you have project manager one, project manager two, project manager three. So this is the strong matrix. Do you have any question about the type of organizations? Who's among you is in a 100% projectized environment? Um, sorry, but uh, I can ask a question, but uh, who regarding the uh, uh, experience hours I'm link, I'm trying to link them to what you are explaining now. Yani, for example, project coordinator. Yes. I'm a project coordinator like Lati Projects. Yes. All the three projects, I mean, they count as uh, yes, yes, yes. hours? Yes, they count. they count. I can, okay, add the tasks. Definitely. Okay, so I have a three experiences with three, uh, three organizations, three uh, organizations. But now I settled down as a project coordinator. But I saw the examples of the two that I شفت الماتريكس بمؤسسة دايما بيكون الديبارتمنت بروجكت ديبارتمنت هو عم بيتابع معنا غير البروجكت مانجر اللي عم بيكون مسؤول عننا انا كنت وقتها فيها فاسيليتيتر بس yeah. وشفت الثاني اللي هو اعطتنا كمان اكزامبل غير الماتريكس اللي قبلها شو هي كانت بس زيادي فانكشنال بروجكتايزد ماتريكس ال uh, project uh, هيدا uh, كان هلا حاليا عم بعمل براكتيكال مع مؤسسه هلا يعني مثل انترنشيب او او تدريب يعني mm -hmm. هن فعلا بيكون المان البروجكت فروم اي تو زد مو كلا شخص واحد بس mm -hmm. uh, وفي عنده تيم بيجي فاينانشال تيم بيساعده وفي عنده uh, uh, يعني بيشوفوا uh, مثلا في عنده اي تي تيم بيجي بيساعده بس هو هو المسؤول فروم اي تو زد عن البروجكت انا بكون عم بتعلم حده يعني قاعده حده وعم بتعلم Usually okay, in, in NGOs, in NGOs, uh, usually they yeah. are like more of project projectized or hybrid. Uh, yeah. yeah, they have yeah. programs, they have funding for programs, and they open programs exactly. and they yeah. recruit. Yeah. 
فانا مثل ما قلت بهالكرايسيس نيو نورمال كوفيد سيتويشن فعلا دي لوت لوت اوف ذا بروجكت نحن عم نحاول يعني حسب ما عم نشوف هلا عم بيحاولوا قد ما فيهم يعني يلاقوا طريقه بالنيو نورمال تا يتكمشوا بالكم بروجكت اللي بقيو بس في بروجكت تفكرت ديفنتلي 100% سو سو ديفرنت اورجانيزيشنال ستراكشر تايبس نحن شفنا الاهم ثلاثه بس يو هاف a simple or organic one where the work is arranged by people working side by side, small to medium to micro businesses. Um, here, if you want to be a letter to none as a project manager authority, we saw that in the matrix, the strong matrix, the project manager authority is moderate to high, whereas the weak matrix, it is low. Uh, resource availability, Bil functional, it is little or none, whereas bil project based, why not project based? Project oriented uh, resources are highly available to almost total availability on your project. Um, uh, who managers who manages the project budget, masalan, bil, uh, bil functional, it's the head of department, whereas bil project based, it's the project manager. Who sets the budget, monitors the budget, and controls the budget? Uh, administrative staff, some uh, admin, some administrative staff like IT, HR, Kaza, uh, they could be full time allocated on the project, especially big projects uh, spanning more than ten and, and twenty years, uh, or even three or five years. Minjib full time accounting department, basla the project, okay, um, etc. Other than these, you have the, uh, for example, the hybrid, which it could be a mix of project-based and functional. Metal Mahabar from BPWC can be directors, uh, managers, partners, and uh, this is functional. Will hybrid layer تحت اللي هي project allocation. So it could be a mix of one or two types of organizational structures. غادي yeah. شو بتاثر علينا بالبروسيس بتفكيرنا كبي ام كبروجكت مانجمنت بتاثر بال بهول مينلي يعني يور افيليبيليتي اوف ريسورسز يور رول از ا بروجكت مانجر يور اوثوريتي از ا بروجكت مانجر ما عم نحكي هلا وات انفلونس ا بروجكت ان ان انفايرمنت ذس از ذا تشابتر سو بتاثر اذا عندك بادجت ولا ما عندك بادجت هو از مينتينينج ذا بادجت بتاثر Decision making, but as their uh, time consuming, the functional, the functional uh, types, whereas it is not as time consuming. Had decisions become the project based, etc. The processes may be as their in selecting processes, but sometimes it does. يعني إذا أنت عم تشتغل بي functional uh, structure uh, وممنوع تشوف the cost على the project. So you don't have any visibility on the cost elements what this the project is costing. Yeah, and all the processes related to cost planning, or cost uh, managing, uh, you will not use them. There are seven or six processes in uh, the cost knowledge area. You will not be using them. So definitely, it will impact your project uh, and will it impact the selection of processes, now 49 processes. يا بي سؤال بس انه بيقدر واحد يكون بروجكت مانجر وما عنده فيزابيليتي على الكوست؟ يس ان سام انفايرمنتس يس بس انه بس مش طبيعي انه ما فيك يو كانت نيد ذا بروجكت اذا ما عندك فيزابيليتي ابدا على الكوست يعني يو كانت مانج ايديلي يو شود انا بالبنك كانوا كل الانترنال كوست اوف بيبل اساينت حتى قلت لهم فورمولا بيست اون الفاينانس ديبارتمنت قلت لهم اعطوني كل رول وتايتل بالبنك قد ايه بكلف البنك بكلفه يعني بكلفه من اسيتس ديبريشيشن من اوكيبيشن اوف سبيس من بيرول من بونص اتسترا واعطوني اياهم قالوا لي مثلا جونيور ستاف بالاي تي بكلفنا بالساعه مثلا اكس او بنهار واي استعملتهم uh, to be able to حتى ال internal cost indirect cost elements to identify them in the project so that I will be able to use the earned value analysis لانه اذا ما في cost 
you will not be able to come up with the earned value uh, progress monitoring and reporting. Keep this in mind. هلا طبيعي اوقات ايه ما بيكون عندك اكسبوجر على الكوست فور ديفرنت ريزنز ذن يو هاف تو مانج ويزاوت ذس اوكي سوري اذا فيني داخل بس هون نحن ساعه بيكون هذا الشيء انه مسقط علينا اسقاط يعني وين ما نكون بالكاتيجوريز ساعه بيكون لا نحن اذا نحن بنعمل انيشيشن للبروجكت سو لما بنعرف نحن الفرق بين هول الكاتيجوريز فينا بناء على المعرفه هيدي تو ديسايد اي نوع من انواع البروجكت مانجرز بدنا نكون اذا اذا يعني اذا هذا البروجكت هو بخصني الي انا انا بدي بلشه سو so انا ساعتها بختار اي مود بدي امشي عليه فرق لما لا اورجنايزيشن عم تدفع لك وهي بتحطك It's not a mode. It's rather those are influences that are influencing your project. The environment, the culture, the existing resources. You need to know. No, I I work. Ah, hala. I now start to know. No, this is a weak environment, weak matrix environment. Hala, start to know. Those might be influences that are influencing a project. Okay. As in, I'm going to tell you on as influences. Yeah. Okay. Another influence is the project management office, uh, or if you have it or if you don't have it. Like, no, the new trend in bigger uh, organizations now is to have a project management office. A project management office has three types of natures or roles. It can supportive, it can controlling, it can directing or directive role. What's the difference between them? أنا أول ما فتت على البنك فتت as a project management office head أه بلشت حط ال policies and procedures بلشت أعمل training بلشت حط ال templates بلشت أعمل ال libraries أه بلشت حتى أبعث ناس على training لبرا and to coordinate the communication with different departments and decision makers so I was supporting the project management practice بس ما كان عندي هال degree of control اللي أقدر غير مزبوط So, بعد ما مرق شهرين ثلاثة during one of the meetings, قلت لهم هيك مش مش الحال. I need to be, I need to have more level of control. I need to move to controlling PMO. اللي يعني controlling PMO. قلت لهم يعني all of the كل ال supporting stuff plus I need to require compliance. يعني اللي ما بيعمل لي مثل ما بدي as a project manager, project team. في uh, there would be an issue of compliance with the PMO policies and procedures اللي حطيتهم يعني ما في واحد يجي يبلش بروجكت بلا ما يعمل initiation ما في يعمل initiation بلا ما يعمل kick off meeting ال kick off meeting uh, template موجودة باللايبرري بده يستعملها ما في يستعمل غير template so compliance with the PMO policies and procedures uh, now is requested and they have to abide by it when you have a PMO controlling role. And all the project management activities that are requested from the PMO should be in compliance with the PMO methodologies, policies, procedures, tools, and templates. Only you have a moderate or medium degree of control. The third nature of PMOs could be directing plus they have delivery role of projects. They are directly managing projects or they have a team of project managers inside the project management office delivering projects. Horn Sarfi Ossit is a batkun fi dilemma horn. And no, every audit department should be independent. And you cannot criticize the systems that you put. So the directive role of PMOs, they, uh, they cannot put systems, execute the systems, and criticize the systems or the procedures and, and policies that they put. But some do, okay? And they might have dedicated resources. And they have a high degree of control. So these were, uh, are the project influences or that might impact your uh, project or influence your project.
Any question on chapter two? Yes, Gabi. Go ahead. بال بال بالكيس اللي عطيتنا اياها الاكزامبل تبع البنك انه انت بالكيس تبعك كنت عم تحط بروسيدجرز سو واز ات ا بروجكت واز ات ا بي ام بي بروجكت اما انت عم تحط بروسيدجر للبي ام بي بكل بروجكت بقلب البنك لا انا عم حط المانيوال للبروجكت مانجمنت براكتسز سو ات واز نوت ا بروجكت از واز ات واز نوت ريلي ا بروجكت هلا انا يعني اي ابروتش ات از ا بروجكت بس ات واز ذا ورك نيدد تو Standardize the work and to have governance on the project. Let no can be chaos when it comes to uh, doing projects in the bank. So, I have organized it in procedures and and templates. If you want to consider a project, yes, let no can be an outcome, can it unique, can be a start and end date, can be a value creation, or can be the context of initiation. So, it is a project. It's a project. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for the game? Those are questions just to to summarize what we uh, what we discuss in every chapter. They are not by all means uh, they are not by all means uh, exam questions, huh? Exam questions, busy visual scenario based questions. Yani, you are the project manager of a big projects or a big program and one of your team members died and you have a critical uh, path uh, with a minus two weeks of float what should you do first these type of questions scenario based questions at the visual exam which definition questions okay gabi is the exam we do when we finish the course or pmi ايه الاكزام اللي بتعملوه تتصيره سيرتيفايد بي ام بي اوكي دايما في تو بلايرز ناقصين ما بعرف ليه اني anyway, واي نبلش فيرست كويشن ذا بروجكت لايف سايكل ماي انكلود All of the above. The pro pro look, the project life cycle is your approach. Yani, who will be doing what, how, when, should deliverables taba kill phase, should constraints, should duration. This is the product project life cycle. So it's all of the above. 